Hey there, Namaria here, and welcome to yet another video on my YouTube channel. Anyway, so this video is going to be about my very own My Little Pony collection. Now, if you haven't figured out by what I just said in my awesome t shirt, I consider myself a brony slash pegasister, or whatever term you use. I prefer brony, even though I know it stands for bro pony. I just think it sounds cooler than pegasister. Eh, yeah, whatever. Anyway, so I'd like to get started by showing you my very own binder of the My Little Pony trading cards. These are the best. I love them. They are so cool and such great quality. Um, I literally have uh, the pretty much the entire base set. Actually, I think I just completed it last week. Uh, I've been collecting these since July. Well, last month, but last month was July. I've been collecting them for a while now, and I'm uh, really excited to say that I have almost the entire set. I'm only missing a couple of the foils now, actually. I think I just uh, finished the base set just last week, like I just said. Um, but speaking of the trading cards, I... <laughs> Actually, I went shopping yesterday and today, and I uh, kind of picked up <laughs> 52 more packs. Yeah, so um, I'm really excited to open these guys. Like I've got these aren't even these aren't even all of them. I've got them in different stacks over here, like these guys and these guys, and then these guys. Mm. But um, I have all of those, and uh. I would, I would open them now in the video, but then I'd have to speed it up, and then I don't, I don't want to go to all that trouble. But, uh, but I have all those, and also, um, I bought, uh, one of the fun packs a while back. Now in the fun packs, they include, uh, 30 packs of the individual packs of the training cards. So there's, there were 30 packs in here, including a special box card that came with it. Uh, I think I got Princess Luna, or Nightmare Moon, I can't remember which. Uh, the actual, I, the eBay seller actually sent me an extra one. So I, yeah, I did. I got, I got, uh, Princess Luna and I got, uh, Nightmare Moon. No, no. I got Nightmare Moon and Princess Cadence. No, I don't. Whichever one the box cards are, I got Princess Luna and, Prin and Nightmare Moon, I believe, if I remember correctly. But, um, I snagged these for a really great deal. Um, these were, I, I bought this before they got really popular. So, uh, I snagged a really great deal because now on eBay there's only one for, like, 100 plus. Yeah, that's crazy. But, um, so those are those. Um, oh, speaking of things to collect, I actually, I have, uh, the, the sets of the blind bags. Uh, this is wave four, wave three. I'm not sure what exactly wave they're considered, but this is the, the second set that they released in America. Uh, it's the purple set. And, uh, they, they're pretty cool. Um, they're like the first set. Like, the first set came in these pink bags. I have the, um, the pink set. I have the first set. I have the first set, the, uh, but I don't have the box for it. I just have the box for purple set. But, um, but they came in these pink bags. And then the purple set came in these, um, these purple bags, which are pretty cool. Oh, but, uh, got something to show you guys. Now, um, when I was out shopping the other night, I had just gotten back from Miami, and, and something... Something just told me. I had a feeling. I was like, "Go to Walmart. Go to Walmart. Don't even, don't even think about it. Just go to Walmart." And guess what was there? In the aisle, still in the box, untouched, it was the complete blue set, the newer set. Oh my gosh, how cool is that? You jelly? You jelly? Because uh, these are so cool. Like I don't, I'm, I'm probably not even gonna open these because I know it's a full set. All 24 are in there. But, uh, but this is the, the newest released set. It, um, it's the, the metallic and glitter ponies. And I'm really, I'm really excited. That is, I was tempted to order them online, but then I just found them, and I knew it was meant to be. You get one of those feelings, and you just go for it. But, um, at the very same Walmart, they also had, uh, the little figurine sets. Uh, they had the other two, uh, but my friend already picked up the, the Gilda one for me. And I decided to wait on the, the Apple Family set because I already have Big Mac and Applejack. And I love Granny Smith, but she can wait a little longer. Uh, but this set includes uh, Shining Armor, Princess Cadence, and Twilight. 
because I need another one of those. But uh, it, it works because, you know, my big brother, best friend. That kind of, you know, they go together and her new sister-in-law, so. But I love the season two finale. Oh my gosh, like I loved it. If you didn't love it, then too bad for you because uh, it was awesome. <laughs> but, um, oh, speaking of other things I've been picking up, uh, I also picked up this over at Target the other day, uh, probably about two or three weeks ago. It's the uh, little microphone, and uh, it's pretty cool. You can you can talk into it. It works. Hello, hello. Uh, it's not very loud, but it's still pretty cool. I'm gonna be posting a review about this most likely. Um, but it includes I think one or two songs when you push this button. But I'm not gonna. Uh, I'll let you find out about that later. But uh, you can also you can plug your um, MP3, MP3 player into it, and it acts like a speaker. Like I said, it's not very loud. It's more of a kid's toy, of course, but uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, the only thing I don't like about it is that it doesn't include Applejack. Bye -bye. Shut up, Pinky. Anyway, it doesn't include Applejack, which makes me kind of sad, but, you know, what can you do? I mean, Hasbro, right? <laughs> anyway, but it's really cute and it's really fun. Um, speaking of toys, I also like collecting the, the fashion style ponies. I got uh, Pinkie Pie a while back. She's not one of my favorite ponies, as you could probably tell by my reaction just then. But, um, she's not one of my favorites, but I absolutely love all of the fashion style ponies. I'd have them all if I if I could. But, um, the, the next one that I'm going for, um, is absolutely going to be Fluttershy, out of the main six anyway. I, I'd go for, you know, Rarity and Applejack, but those, you can't find those in stores anymore, and they're incredibly expensive, and it's not on my... It's not one of my top priorities, if you know what I mean. But uh, I love Fluttershy, so you gotta go for that. Um, also, speaking of the fashion style ponies, I also have the newer uh, Celestia that they released. Uh, she's pretty cute. I I like how they um. I like how they're doing. You know the dresses. Like I like the fabric that they chose for her dress. And uh, she's really cute. They also have, of course, they have the um the Princess Luna version out by herself individually packaged, just like this. Um, I've seen it at a couple places, Walmarts especially, but I haven't picked one up for myself yet. I, I'm planning on doing that maybe next month. It's not a priority. Like, I'm more into the trading cards right now. But, um, but I also have the older set of the fashion style dolls that they had selling together of Princess Luna and, uh, Princess Celestia. And this is really cute. You know, these, these drawers open and you can put their stuff inside of it. And it's really cute, but I'm not gonna open it. I mean... They're, they're cute, and I'm sure they'd be fun to play with, but I'm just not big into playing with toys. I didn't... I like, you know, keeping them. I don't know. Anyway. But I did open... I made an exception. I, I did open this one. Princess Cadence. Oh my gosh. It's really cute. She's adorable. Um, she actually... She plays music, and she sings songs, and uh... Let's see what she's gonna say. See, she, she sings and she hums and, uh, oh, what else? Let's dance. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, there's her. Oh, but, uh, speaking of that Walmart, I kind of feel bad about this, but, uh, they were restocking the shelves and so they were doing a little rearranging and they took some of the signs down from the toy aisle and, uh, I kind of took this home with me, <laughs> so, uh, it, you know, I kind of feel bad about it, but I walked out of the store with it, no one, no one said anything, no one stopped me, and, uh, if anything, it's a little, one of the holes is broken anyway, so, you know Walmart probably would have thrown it out anyway, it would have replaced it, so it's, it went to a good home, I think, I kind of feel bad about it, but I'll get over it. But, uh, you jelly? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, but let's see. Other than that, uh, I also have these really cool t-shirts. As you can see, this one here, uh, is pretty cool. I got this from, uh, theyeti.com. Uh, you can't get it anymore. Theyeti.com is one of those, um, you know, you know, shirt once a day kind of 24-hour things. But, um, the artist behind it, her name is Kari Fry. She has her own website. It's karifry.com, of course. 
And she's also, uh, she's selling some things on Redbubble. I believe this same shirt is available, but it's, you know, it's a lot more than uh, what I bought it for on the Yeti.com, which was like, a, like $10 or $11 with like, like $3 shipping or something like that. So I paid like 14 bucks maybe, including shipping for this shirt, which is pretty cool. I love it. Uh, it's a, it's like a My Little, you know, Pony Final Fantasy crossover. That's why it's My Little Chocobo, but I love it. And, um, you know, she's done a lot of great, you know, other, she's, she's had quite a few other t-shirts, uh, featured on the Yeti.com. Uh, the, she's, you may be familiar with her Pokemon work. Uh, the ones that, like, the, the, you know, her first one, I think, was the fire types, where it has, like, Rapidash on it, and she also has, like, you know, the water types and the electric types, and she's done a lot of great work, and I, I really, I love her stuff. But, um, oh, but speaking of crossover t-shirts, I also have this. Yeah, yeah. My Little Pony, The Legend of Zelda crossover edition kind of thing. It's really cool. But, um, this shirt I brought from a different site called T-Fury. But it was also one of those 24-hour t-shirt deals. Um, but it's pretty cool. I snagged that. Uh, the artist behind that shirt, her name is, uh, she's going by Jelly Snail on the T-Fury website, but I believe her name is Heather. Um, that's the only t-shirt that she's had uh, printed by them so far. That's her, you know, her design That's that, that they have on the her profile. And I haven't gone searching for her DA page if she has one. Most artists do. I think Kari even has one, but um, but yeah, I'm hoping she puts out more stuff. I would love to see more My Little Pony, you know, crossovers, or even just My Little Pony t-shirts in general. I know MyTFine.com has a lot of them, but, you know, I mean, they're, they're going through contests and stuff, and it's interesting, but it's not pulling my attention too much. Everyone's buying from there. <laughs> I don't want to say I'm kind of a hipster with it, but if it's not... I'd rather be more unique with it. I don't know. That makes no sense. Whatever. I'm really tired, if you can't tell. Um, but other than that, um, I had a really fun time this past weekend at uh, MizuCon in Miami. Uh, I had a lot of great, my, like, friend, like, friend time fun. Friend time fun. Fun time with friends. I need to go to bed. Anyway, um, but that was a lot of fun. It was only my second time visiting Miami, even though I was born there, but I was a baby, Hurricane Andrew, we were out of there, kind of thing. So I've never really been there, um, but it was a lot of fun. I met a lot of great people, hung out with some great friends, and I hosted a couple panels. I helped out with um, the OA uh, dating game. Uh, by the way, OA stands for Orange Anime. Uh, I'm one of the members. We are an awesome group. I, I love Orange Anime so much. Uh, we have an, a website, it's called orangeanime.com, of course, but check us out, we're a free forum, you know, you can, you can chat about tons of stuff, we've got plenty of topics, there are achievements you can get, we have meetups, it's pretty cool, so you should check us out, but, um, we also have t-shirts that are pretty cool, too. I also, uh, I also helped out with the OA Social, I was only there for a bit, but, you know, we played Flux, which is cool. I also helped out with the Yaoi panel. That was a little unexpected, but I enjoyed myself. It was different. I'm not really big into Yaoi, but it, it, it seems like something I could find interest in eventually. But it was a lot of fun, and I, I learned a lot, <laughs> I guess you could say. I saw a lot more than I learned. Anyway, other than that, my 90s Kablam panel went amazing. You know, I was pretty happy with it. It's only my, uh, it was only my third it was only my third time hosting it. I was pretty proud. Uh, hopefully that'll end up on YouTube eventually. I also, um, oh, um, my friend and I unveiled our clamp panel for the first time this weekend. Uh, it's called Clampaholic. We'll be also, um, hosting it at UmiCon in September, uh, September 7th through the 9th. UmiCon is located in Daytona. I will post the link to the website below, as well as a few other links, like to the t-shirts and stuff like that. Uh, but my friend's name is Jillian. She's amazing. I'll post a link to her YouTube as well. She'll probably be hosting, uh, posting the video from my panel, and uh, possibly from a few other panels from MusicCon as well. So you should check her out. Subscribe to her. Um, other than that, I really have nothing else to say. I had a great weekend, and I'll probably be posting more videos in the next couple of days. So if you want, 
pay attention. If not, your loss. I'm just Go do what you want, but I hope you guys are doing well, and I appreciate you watching. So thanks, and I will see you later. Peace.